All right, let's talk about Marvel 80th Anniversary Blitz Milestones. There is a new thing to do, and it is basically you have to blitz a whole bunch to get some cool rewards of ABCs, the Milestone Orb Fragments, these 80th Orbs, and... Uh, Namor shards. Woo! All right. In total, you can get, if you get all the way to the max milestone, which is 254,000 points, you get a total of 80 Namor shards. You get 15 of the orbs. You get, I think, 30 ABCs and a few milestone orbs. So, I'm going to go over how to easily get the points, how to score high and help your alliance achieve these milestones uh, very quickly, and show how you can do it uh, as fast as possible, very efficiently, and what you need to do to get it every day. So the first thing you want to do is check out what is a Marvel 80th character, because you get 20 points per character on your team per win. Remember, you have to win these battles. You can't just fight with them. And so if you lose, you don't get the points, and so if you're using five of these guys that's 100 points you miss out on and you only get three points per win which is pretty negligible because there's about 20 of these characters that you can use and that's basically you know 400 points per rotation uh, plus whatever uh, blitz uh, charges you want to spend to do extra so the first thing i would do is say let's go look at the roster and let's uh, pop-ups uh let's find Marvel 80th characters, right? It looks like both, but it actually is 80th. The font's weird, and it always has been. Um, and this will show you who is 80th designated. So I have, let's see, 15. I have 19 characters that are currently Marvel 80th unlocked. And there's three more. I don't know if we're going to get Fantastic before these milestones run out, because there's only another 13 days left. Torch is supposed to be coming in a blitz, I think, next week. And then Namor is unlocked through this process, and I think you can buy him as well. So some of you may have him. So you could have up to 20 right now, and then potentially up to 22 if they uh, let these guys come out soon enough. So that's, you know, just three more isn't a big deal. Um... If you have 15 of these characters, that's more than enough to contribute a significant amount of points to your alliance. So, what I would say is, or this is what I did, I screenshot my roster of Marvel 80th characters, and I unfavorited the ones that were favorited, just so I could see them from top to bottom uh, in their power order. So, this is mine and my roster and how I've been working on things, but, you know, everybody has different stars. Red stars, of course, affect this greatly. And to me, I was just trying to take the five strongest characters, or the top 10 characters and make two teams out of them and take the bottom 10 characters or nine in this case and make two teams out of them and then add one really good character to make a fifth for this worst team all right so that's what i'm going to show you did what to do here so when i go into blitz it's iron fist i blitzed up to about five six hundred k or so and then i manually dropped down by losing as many battles as i could to get down to the 2x multiplier because i don't need iron fist shards as long as you don't need iron fist shards i would recommend doing this on 2x and 2.65 because those are really easy to win on so this is my first team and what i've done here is i or, if I change teams and go to my save slots, I actually deleted a couple of teams that I'm not really using right now. My weaker Blitz teams I don't need. And I'm just focused on getting Marvel 80th characters through Blitz and getting wins. So my first team is these four guys. And you can see they aren't that great. They don't really fit in these other teams all that well because of their power totals and whatnot. And I threw Ultron in with them. So Ultron is about half this team's power, which means him alone he's going to win the battle. <laughs> so I'm really just banking on him and then I guess Scarlet Witch to share some health and that's about it. Maybe some debuffs and then hit Hulk can tank a little bit at 26k, right? Uh, my next team is Brawlers. So I got three Brawlers and Miss Marvel and then I threw Storm in because of the assists and all that. Like She's fine. She works with this team. But it's mostly about power level. See how they're all 35 to 40k? That works great for me. This may not work for you though depending on what your, your power levels are. My next team is uh, Avengers basically right? with Strange. I don't believe he has the Avengers tag but that's okay. Uh, but this team is great. You know you got Cap, you got Widow with speed ups, you got Hawkeye with Dispel and Blinds and stuff, Utility. Iron Man does a lot of damage and then Strange is just kind of a utility guy with the offense down, buff flips and res um, if you need it. And then this last one is my uh, Space 
team, uh, cosmic team, except for Spider-Man. But he did go to space in that one movie, so, you know. <laughs> uh, but Thanos feeds Rocket. Uh, Spider-Man just dodges the middle. Groot's just there for slows. And, uh, you know, he does a lot of damage with his basic. And then the defense up and death proof works. And then Captain Marvel just kicks everybody's ass because she's, she's really good in this game. Um, but those are my four teams that I'm using right now. So I would say make four teams save them here put them from bottom to top from your weakest to your best uh for me this really is like my worst team my second best team or my second <laughs> i'm sorry this is my best team at the bottom here this is my second best team third best team fourth best team i would say as far as blitzing goes like i can um i can win at 2.4 or 3 or whatever 2x uh tier 3 or whatever with that team just fine uh but this early one you can see here it's 128k and at 2x with no uh wins yet i'm hitting a 90k team so it's you know a 30k difference or so and that's a really easy win i'll change opponents here and there just to see if there's something easier but generally like something like this like ronin and hulk and mordo it's like that's nothing and bullseye's easy so this is an easy win so as you go through and you win these you get a hundred well i would get 80 points for this fight plus three for winning and ultron doesn't count if you're being really stingy with your uh blitz credit charges to use that when you use them you may want to swap out whoever isn't a marvel 80th character to save some uh, charges but you don't have to if you don't really feel like it um, but basically doing this gets me um, really so with four teams it's 380 points right per rotation because you get 20 per character per win and then you get three points per win so that's another you know 15 points so i'm getting almost 400 points per rotation and by doing that, uh, I'm contributing a lot to the milestones. Now, let's go back to the milestones real quick here, and let's talk about uh, the numbers, okay? So what we need here is we need a total of 254,000 points. <laughs> and if we go and we calculate that over 14 days, so really we're in day two already, so it's 12 days, 19 hours left. So you do 254,000, right, divided by 14 equal, or yeah, 18,000 a day, and then divide that by 24, and you need about 755 points per person per day. So that means you need to do, if you can win all three, all four battles with, you know, all Marvel 80th characters, um, you need to do about two rotations a day if you can get, you know, um, 18 characters or 18 or 19 characters for Marvel 80th in those Blitz teams. So that's really not too bad when you think about it. You add in the 100 charges a day you get, uh, that's four more uh, Blitz battles that you can do with those characters. So that's another 400 points. So then if you're doing that, you're doing 1,200, you're making up for somebody else that's not even doing a second rotation. That's pretty easy to do. And the rewards are great. Now, the other thing that this feeds into is the other milestone called Orbs Away. And that is Namor right here, who is in all of these uh, orb milestones. Now, for this one, you need 11,400 points, and you get 125 points per Marvel 80th Anniversary Orb. So when we do that, 11,400 divided by 125 equals 91 orbs <laughs> that's a lot of orbs so uh, if we look at the bombastic blitz you only get 15 orbs from it you will get a total of i think it was about five orbs uh and you're not gonna be able to see, oh no it did load okay so you're not gonna be able to see it that great but uh Let's see. So we get, I think it's, yeah, 6, 800, and uh, 1,200 here. So that was uh, one orb, two orbs. Yeah, you get two from the milestones here. So that's 17 orbs. Um, and then you get some orbs from doing battles. So let's go ahead and do one. And every time you win, you're going to get shards for your um, blitz payout. And this can vary from 50 shards of an orb all the way to 2,000. So you may get a full orb doing it. Now, it's going to be really tough to get 91 orbs in 14 days from what I can tell. Um, I, I don't know that we're going to be able to do that easily. So that's my biggest concern right now. I have no idea <laughs> if it's going to be possible without purchasing the orbs or what. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but it is kind of funny when you think about it. It's like, oh, well, that's that's a lot of orbs. Where are we going to get all these? So um, I guess, I don't know, maybe they'll have a raid or something that uh, brings more orbs. But for right now, I, I, I have no idea. 
So um, that's kind of where we're at right now, just trying to wait and see how we can maximize our orb gains because I, I can't imagine that doing these through um, the blitz wins is going to work. I mean, there's just no way. It's it's here. You'll see here. I'll probably get like 100 shards or something like that for one blitz win. And if that was your average, I mean, to get, you know, 100 shards per blitz win, you'd need... Yeah, so we got 50. All right. <laughs> so I got 50 shards for an orb, and I need 2,000 to open one orb. So that's a ton. Was that 40 wins then if we're getting 50 shards? 20 wins if we're getting 100 shards uh, to get one orb? That's a, so much blitzing to get to 91 orbs. Uh, I just, I can't imagine. It, there there has to be other ways that we're going to obtain these things. But um, let's do another couple of these, and I'll show you the next part of this uh, strategy. Um, so you need, after you win a couple of blitz battles, the biggest problem you're going to have is you, once you start ranking up in blitz tiers, it's actually going to be more difficult to uh, win battles. So you need to be able to fail and lose on purpose so here let me uh, get up here a little bit and I'll show you what I mean I need to win a couple of battles here all right let's get rid of Minerva oh shit I thought that would kill her damn it all right let's make sure we get her down there we go all right <coughs> No. <laughs> All right. Let's finish this. All right. So now the next thing you're going to want to do is after you win a few battles, you're going to want to lose one. And the way that I do this is by uh, using one of my worst teams of non 80th characters, which is my aim team. So I can lose with them really well. I can also lose with uh, minions pretty well. And let me demonstrate that real quick, because I think this is probably one of the more important things to do. So the first thing is, if you're using really low characters, um, Crossbones will not have his ult uh, for the enemy team unless he's over about 2,500 uh, power. So um, 2,444 is, or 2,544 is probably right on the cusp. But if you can find an enemy Crossbones, he will blow the shit out of your team. It'll be very simple to get back down a tier. <clears throat> So let's try this real quick. And um, this is probably the hardest thing to do, is uh, making sure that you're losing battles easily to get back to where you were. So use your non-attack abilities. Like, for instance, I know Luke Cage is not going to attack his first turn, so I blind him. That way it doesn't do damage to the enemy team. I would not use that AoE because it does more damage. And uh, I would try not to kill any of the enemy team. So I'm going to try to remove his uh, taunt there. That's good. And now I'm going to attack into death proof or the defense ups so that I do as little damage as possible. Oops, I forgot Mysterio or removes buffs. Um, another thing you can also hit into regenerator guys, um, healers, and you know, just those kind of people. And just try to do as little damage as possible. That's kind of the idea here is uh, you just want to keep the enemy team alive so that they can kill your guys and uh, see if you can there we go look at that bomb perfect all right now we've definitely lost perfect all right kill me there we go and we'll punch him again and kill him there we go good job Wolverine and that's it now um, so that's really like the idea here. So now I'm back down to 2.0. So my next battle is going to be really easy and I could win with my crap teams. So I would recommend, you know, if you don't need iron fist shards, just, you know, get, get up to like 500 K 600 K something like that, and then drop down and then just be doing these rotations with good characters. And you'll eventually, like you can see here, I've gotten a half a million points since I started doing that and uh, just doing my rotations and stuff. And then that way uh, you can contribute a lot to this milestone for your Alliance. 
and provide a whole lot of points. You can see here, I'm only at 3,200 right now. I still need to do a few more rotations and use some more blitz charges. But uh, you can see some of my teammates here in the 4Ks. And then you can look all the way down to the number 16 people and see what they're doing. So really right now, we should have everybody around 1,400 plus points in order to be doing their two rotations a day with Marvel 80th characters. Uh, but it may vary also by people's rosters and what they're capable of. And, you know, if you have some really crappy characters that are Marvel 80th and they just aren't helping in Blitz and you're losing battles, you may need to upgrade them a little bit to get them, you know, somewhat useful or at least, you know, be able to take two hits instead of one. Um, so you just need to look at that and think about that on your roster. But these milestones are definitely worth it. Uh, Namor is just going to be awesome, I think, in Alliance 4 offense. Uh, so he will be very useful from what I can tell. Um, he's going to be useful even outside of Fantastic Four team, but of course he works best with them. And so I think it's worth it to, to focus on that. And then also getting the uh, orb shards from those wins is a big deal too. And uh, that should help out a little bit in uh, getting you more and more shards here uh, through these milestones. And there's some decent stuff. There's like the elite orb fragments and all that. Uh, it's just going to be really tough to get to this final uh, couple of milestones here. So it looks like... You know, if you were to hit about uh, probably 7,200 points or so, that's uh, that's about 50 orbs or so. That's uh, not, that's probably doable depending on what they do for um, orbs uh, fragments. So if they give us a few orbs every uh, blitz for the next uh, two weeks, we should be able to get, you know, probably uh, 30 orbs as like baseline and then whatever you luck into and if there's any other ways to earn them. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for that. But that's the idea. So that's, that's, uh, that's my strategy strategy for doing these uh, blitz battles to get the most points possible for my alliance. And just to show you one more time, my rosters for those teams, you can see Ultron plus these guys, Hulk, Thing, Scarlet Witch, and Thor. And then I made a Brawlers team with Miss Marvel, Wolverine, Black Panther, Deadpool, and Storm. And then another team with uh, Cap, Widow, Hawkeye, Iron Man, and Strange. And then my Cosmic Dudes in uh, Thanos, Rocket, Groot, Captain Marvel, and then Spider-Man is just too high level, but he picked he works with these guys, so it works out. Uh, but those are my teams. You know, you can make your own and see how it goes. And then uh, once we start unlocking guys, other guys, uh, you can toss them in too. So there may be a fifth team on the rise here once we start getting those Fantastic Four characters just to get more shards. So we'll see. Uh, but that's it. That's the... Uh quick and dirty way of uh, getting these shards and getting these uh, points as much as possible. So uh, get out there, get blitzing, and get those milestones.